if I wondered how your car is able to switch gears and go faster or slower, or how it's able to go in reverse even when the engine will it output power to go forward? Well, the answer to this lies in a component called a gearbox, aka a transmission. A gearbox is a mechanical component that helps to transfer power from the engine to the wheels by using different gear ratios. Its primary role is to give out the right amount of power and torque to the wheel at different speeds to achieve optimum performance. But how exactly does it do that? Well, I think it's better I show you because in this video, I will be building a transmission gear system. So let's build it. How does the car transmission work? Well, you can see the whole setup here. The motor is acting as the engine, which power is being delivered from. And then you can see the output shaft here, which is where I attach that electrical tape. Once the engine starts running, you can see that the output shaft, which is connected to the wheel, does not move. 
which is because none of the gears are engaged. The system is in a neutral position. Now, to engage the gears, when I move the gear stick to the speed position labeled 1, you can see that the gears are now engaged and our output shaft begins to turn. But at this stage, it's on the speed level 1, means it's on the lowest speed level. You can see that the smaller gear on the driver shaft from the engine turns a bigger gear on the dr driven shaft, which is the output shaft, which is why it turns slower. Because the smaller gear we have to turn twice for the bigger gear to turn once in a 1 ratio 2 gear system. <laughs> To increase the speed level, I simply move it to, to the position level 2 and as you can see, the output shaft turns faster. How is this possible? This is because, based on the gear arrangement, the configuration was such that the bigger gear on our driver shaft from the engine now turns a smaller gear on our driven shaft. And as you know, due to gear ratio, when the bigger gear turns a smaller gear, the smaller gear turns faster. Because one rotation of this bigger gear gives two rotations of the smaller gear in a two ratio one gear arrangement. Now, for the reverse mode, notice the extra spore gear, which is there. The function of this spore gear is to change the initial direction of rotation to the opposite rotation. This is actually a two-way speed gearbox or transmission, which means it only has two levels of output speed level 1 and level 2. In modern cars, the speed levels can even reach up to speed level 6. This two-way speed gearbox is the basis for all of them. And so, that is how your gearbox works. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope this video was able to help you understand how a car transmission works. If it was, please make sure to leave a like, share and subscribe. And also tell me what you want to see next. I'll be happy to make this for Until next time, be creating and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.